G'day Tankers and welcome back to the channel. Stormyager here presenting a game with the one and only glorious commander Ez from Pipcac. Ez is the uh, Pipcac commander, the clan I am currently in on the Asian server. And uh, today he sent us a uh, interesting little game in his Type 64, the Tier 6 Chinese Premium Scout tank. Now he's gonna display vast qualities of uh, what we've been calling Sturm Scouting recently. So what he's going to do, he's going to go to the middle of the map and do something there. Now, um, with the Type 64, it is... I find it similar in ways to the Hellcat in terms of, of the old Hellcat, sorry, not the current Hellcat. In terms of mobility, the gun is lacking of course. It's currently the what similar to the what the tier five M4 currently has, so it's adequate, but it's not amazing. Not like the um, type T, sorry, not the type, the T37. So he spotted a Type 61. He's popped a shot into him. Missed. What is? Yep. And just looks like he got maybe a blind shot in there. Looks like this is going to hang around. Probably not the wisest choice since he started firing. He's trying to get shots on this T-37, although he should probably check what he can see up there. The T-28 is something he's not going to be able to pen even with his APCR. Looks like he's got... Um, bit of everything there, he's got 20 APCR, he had at least 25 AP rounds, although he probably had more T-37 getting close Is might be wanting to move soon not somewhere I personally prefer to go in my uh, or in any tank really, is the middle of the map on highway, prefer to uh, stick towards the edges, the red line as the joke goes. T28 not facing us, although not showing enough side armour for us to pin. Is has decided to move up at this point. As the T37 was taken out by his team. Top 61 over there. Top 61 being the J tier 9 Japanese medium tank. A bit of a carbon copy of the Patton M46, although it has better DPM and better penetration at the cost of some gun handling. Another T37 over there. Ez didn't give enough lead to that one. T21 on his right hand flank, keeping an eye out for anything that may be detrimental to Ez's health there. And the battle's going very quiet. There looks like there's a slight stalemate in the uh, town there, although we don't know how much longer that will last. And there's one of those very annoying. Oh, that looks like it bounced as you saw the shot go flying. An SU 12244. He's done some damage to there. Still spotted as one of the T 37s. There's a platoon of T 37s on the, in this this game. Something I don't really like to run is the uh, platoons of light tanks. They tend to have um, issues. Well, you get into t games like this where you. Uh, kind of limited in what you can do, although you can do very well in the T-37, so being one of my favourite light tanks, definitely my favourite tier 6 tank. Although in saying that, the Cromwell B has become a fan favourite of mine recently. Oh, very nice, and that's his first kill there. 
T28. Might better land a couple shots there. Not quite. Can't see the silhouette, unfortunately, so I'm not able to tell what it's like there, but there's another T37. Still haven't seen the third T37, which is very interesting. He's either up in that corner there, or maybe he's in the middle as well. I can see the silhouette there. And Iz is about to use up all of his um, AP rounds. Very even so far, although as you can see from my... That's pretty average. As you can see from... What the? That, that's a bit weird. That should have killed him the first time around. And there's the other T-37. There's the other platoon mate. Where'd that go? There we go. One more. Nice. Kill. So, he, he has now got three kills. He's only got four to 15 rounds left. He's taking a lot of risky shots here. Although he should... That was a pretty average shot. Come on, as you can do better than that. Come on. Oh, Jesus. One thing about doing commentary, it's always frustrating. Watching shots just missing. And you're like, come on! This is moving out. He's only got nine shells left. Eight APCR and one HE. Although his team is now winning, although they're a bit behind on HP, about 500 or so behind. Is it still camping in the, the middle? I feel like I'm commentating cricket here. Speaking every 5 seconds. Or maybe 20 seconds more, I think. Now there's the T-34. This has got some shots on him, although he misses again. Very low roll there. There goes the buffed armour of the uh, American Heavy Line going again. It's got five shells left, one HE and four APCR. Done 1400 damage so far, so it's a decent game in a light tank, especially in a tier 9 game with a tier 6 light tank. Couple of features about the tank, very good um very good view range. It's got some decent DPM as well. Get some shots on the chariot here. Nothing to point out, it hasn't lost any um health yet. But yeah, the mobility on this is pretty good. The turret traverse is very average, although you can sort of um make up with that by actually turning your hull of your tank, so it's not even that big a deal. Four shells left, Is What are you going to do with them? He can bide his time here. Someone injured the kill from him before he could actually take a shot. Three enemy tanks left, opposed to the um, eight on his team. Spotted Tiger One. Always feel sorry for Tiger One drivers. The armor's pretty average if you don't angle it properly. I think a lot of people sadly start playing the Tiger, thinking it hits an amazing tank, and unfortunately it isn't. Oh, it has run out of shells. Is what are you going to do? Your full health? Oh, no. Ooh, just missed that shot. Let's 
so is what are you gonna do? You can't do anything to this T10. Is what are you doing? Is is ram <laughs> worth it? <laughs> uh, very good game is very good game. And on to the post game stats. Okay, well, let's see. We've earned a mastery badge, have we? Is we've earned fifty three thousand four hundred three credits. 2148 XP. I don't know if that's double, it doesn't say here. So let's check over here. He's done 2314 damage with four kills. Um, pretty much better than anyone else on his team in a tier 9 game, which is very, very good. This uh, out damaged all but two of the enemy team, so very, very good. There is very, very good. Seems you can actually play after all. Shots fired 25 is. I really thought you were better, Is I'm very disappointed. Um, damage, uh, 2314 again, and from more than 300 meters, 1895. Uh, that's definitely Sturm Scouting, Is Definitely Sturm Scouting. Although you spotted four enemies, that's probably more than I would actually spot a game, so well done. And you actually got 1,943 uh, assistance damage, which is probably more than what I would have got. So, although you lost money, that's uh, that's rather unfortunate. And uh, you actually did quite well. Uh, you didn't, that wasn't a double, that was a... With a mission. Bonus for premium vehicle. Oh, that's just for premium vehicle. So, yeah, not bad is. Not bad if I don't say so myself. You've really um, embraced Sturm Scouting. I'm very proud. Very, very proud. Although I'm very disappointed about your shots fired. I think you have to up, up that, and I think you have to reduce the amount of players with assistance there, so um, fix that up and you will be a true Sturm Scouting Master. Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.